Hey everyone, Anthony Scott here at ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we, we are reviewing Playmates Toys' newly released classic collection movie star villains figure four pack in their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These figures are reissued and repainted from the vintage line and are exclusively available at Amazon here in the U.S. Link below right in the YouTube description as well as on ToyHypeUSA.com. Please link off that hyperlink before you shop. We would greatly appreciate that. Also, special shout out and thank you to Playmates Toys for sending this set along for review. This is greatly appreciated. This comes in a white mailer, as does most of their classic collection. And on the front, it has a description. On the sides is where you can open either side. Same thing on the front and back. On top, you have the handle and you see the Ninja Turtles logo there. And the bottom is just blank. The white mailer is off, and here's your look at the front of the box, which includes Soto Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Secret of the Ooze. This has a theater backdrop, and the foot soldier is right there on top. On the sides, you have some additional artwork, including Roy's Pizza and Graffiti. This time, it's delicious vanilla ice cream which is a sign, some movie posters, and graffiti. And on the back, you have Toka and Razar, which you see on the top and bottom there in action poses. The artwork on this is really nicely done. I like how this came out. On the top, you have Ninja Turtles logo. And on the bottom, you have images of the four figures that are inside. Here's your in-hand look at the blister card for the figures. This is the same for all four of them. This here is for Shredder and the Foot Soldier. On the front, you have uh, film from the movie, and it shows various scenes. You also have the Ninja Turtles logo from the classic cartoon. On the upper right, you have images of the movie figures, the Turtles. And on the lower right, you have the name of the figure, Movie Star Super Shredder and Movie Star Foot Soldier. On the back, you have additional film showcasing scenes from the movie and a look at all four figures that are offered in this line. Here's a look at Toka and Razar. As I said, these are the same with the other two. Same deal on the back as well. Here's your in-hand look at the figures offered in the Movie Star Villains 4-pack, which includes the Foot Soldier, Razar, Shredder, and Toka. I don't have the originals from the early 90s, so I'm unable to compare with the paint apps, things like that. So I do apologize for that. However, if you do look online, you would see that the paint applications are just very slightly different, not too much from their original releases. Let's kick things off with a closer look at Shredder. He is basically a reissue from the previously offered Movie Stars box set, which included uh, Shredder, Splinter, as well as the four Movie Turtles. That was a six pack offered last year, I believe. So you're basically getting a reissue here. He is painted in dark purple and black deco with gray armor. The blades on the armor is made of a soft plastic, so it's going to be safe for kids. You don't have to worry about any of this being sharp. And as I'm touching it, just to show you guys, you would see just how soft this is. No sharpness whatsoever anywhere. The helmet is black with a metallic silver, and this is very nicely done painted. He has a belt around his torso there with a holster for his staff sword accessory, which we're going to be taking a closer look at. This part here is also made of a hard plastic. I thought it was soft for a second. Sorry about that. As far as his articulation, as this figure's mold is over 30 years old, I think you guys would basically know what to expect is that. So you're basically getting what you got 30 plus years ago as far as the sculpt which includes a swivel neck, swivel shoulders, and ball-jointed hips. 
back in the day, articula oh, there's also swivel wrists. Back in the day, articulation was very limited, so that's basically what you're seeing here. He doesn't want to stand. There we go. Razar is a mutated wolf, and he is fully given sculpted fur, brown fur, I should say, with some dark gray armor. I just realized that this chest piece here is removable. I never had the original figure from the early 90s, so this is a first for me. But if you remove the chest plate there, you have that hole right in his upper abdominal. So there is that. You could just snap that back in and it stays in. The armor is all a dark gray. He also has a blue ripped shirt, which you see here. Kind of like turquoise cloth around his torso there. His finger and toenails are painted in yellow. Facial details, very nicely done. Yellow teeth red and white eyes, and more of the sculpted fur. Let's take a look at the back of the head. The chest armor is not the only removable part about this figure. You can remove the armor on the forearms here, just to take these off, as well as the armor on the hips. Again, I never had the original figure, so this is all new for me as far as the sculpt. He also has chains on his wrists here from when he was shackled, as well as same color um, elbow guard, which is right there. Elbow pad, whatever you prefer to call it. The articulation is also the same as Super Shredder's, which includes a swivel neck, swivel arms, swivel elbows, and ball jointed hips. Toka is a mutated snapping turtle, and he comes in dark screen uh, skin there with yellow fingernails and bones sticking out the knee pads, as well as the bones sticking out on the back of the shell, which is also painted in a tan and black. He also has a black belt sculpted around his waist, which you can also remove. The head sculpt has decent facial details on there, including a yellow snout, yellow teeth, red on the inside, red and white eyes, which you see here. There's also a little bit of gray shading right on the skin, so you're getting a little bit of definition there. On the chest, it is kind of like a, I guess you can call it like a light brown and black color. There's also a red foot symbol right here on the belt buckle, which I think is pretty cool. I actually don't remember that particular thing from the movie, but they added it to the figure. Sculpted on the belt are bones, or skulls I should say, with bones. So here's your look there. And you have sculpted ninja throwing stars right here. None of this is removable. Various other details here. It looks like some kind of insect. And here's a look at the other side. This can also store an accessory, so we're going to take a closer look at that as well. For his articulation, he has a swivel neck, swivel shoulders, swivel elbows, and ball jointed hips. The Foot Soldier is the final figure offered in the set. And again, this sculpt is over 30 years old, so you're getting what you got more than three decades ago. He comes in his light gray and dark gray outfit there, ninja outfit I should say, with a throwing star tucked in under his belt there, which is non-removable. He has a dark gray strap around his torso there, and you see it on the other side as well. 
The boots are also dark gray. Head sculpt, very nicely done. He has that red bandana right all over the forehead there. The eyes and the mouthpiece is metallic silver, so this stands out nicely. For his articulation, he has a ball joint, uh, excuse me, swivel neck, swivel hinged shoulders, swivel elbows, and ball jointed hips. Super Shredder includes two cans of mutagen, this bladed weapon he can hold, and a communicator. Here's a look at that staff bladed weapon. He can hold on to it, and this can be stored right on the back. This is the same that was also released 30 plus years ago. So there's your look at that. This communicator is actually Cranktech. TCRI was mentioned in the film and you saw the cans of mutagen which are also from the Krang. However, the Krang were never mentioned or seen in the film. This communicator is kind of an interesting release for Super Shredder, as he didn't actually have one in the film, so he couldn't contact Krang and ask for reinforcements. Here is a closer look at this communicator. It has a screen, which you see here. Nothing on there, just some sculpted details. He's also got a pretty good grip on it. Here's a look at the other side. Here's a comparison with Super Shredder offered in the six pack, which is on the right. On the left is this one released in this movie star villains four pack. Here's a look at Razar's accessories, which includes a spine with a skull attached, a spider grappling hook, and a shield that's in the shape of a headstone. Here's a look at the shield and the spine. The shield, rest in peace turtles, which is in the shape of a headstone. And the spine has a skull right on top here with a hinged jaw. He's got a pretty good grip on both, as you can see. Here's a closer look at the spider grappling hook with the string hanging down. The spider can be removed up on top but there's really no point to remove it. Has some very nicely done sculpted details as well. Toka comes with four accessories, including two knives, one of which has a zigzag. He comes with a mace and this weird looking barbed wire baseball bat wrapped around. Here's a look at one of the knives in his hand. On the back, I went ahead and put on the zigzag knife in the holster there. Here's a closer look at the knife with the zigzag. Kind of looks like the one that comes with Slash. Here's a look at the other two accessories, including the mace and this, I'm going to call it a baseball bat with barbed wire, because I have no idea what else to call it. Here's a look at the accessories that comes with the foot soldier, including a can of mutagen with a sticker around it, showcasing the mutagen inside two throwing stars, a sword, and two nunchucks with chain links. Here's a closer look at the sword. Here's a look at the nunchucks. The chain links aren't real, and you can bend it so he can hold one in both hands. Here's a closer look at the throwing stars. Both of these are different, as you see here. Here's a comparison of the set along with the movie turtles, which were also reissued. Here's another comparison with Toka and Razar. Overall, this is a great box set, which is a companion piece to the previously offered six-figure box set with the Movie Turtles, Splinter, and Super Shredder. My recommendation would be to pick this up. I think fans are going to love getting Toka and Razar in hand. This is long overdue, and I'm also very surprised that these original modes even exist to this day. Playmates Toys has reissued a number of the classic uh, vintage line many times over the years, but we've never gotten reissues of these. So I, for one, am thrilled that the tooling still exists and they were able to do it. 
Thank you again to Playmates Toys for sending these along for review. This is greatly appreciated. To buy, check out the links in the YouTube description and off of ToyHypeUSA.com. I am Anthony Scott. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more coverage and reviews.